Hello everybody, this is Steve here in Oregon, and it's hot. Let's see what it says, yeah, 100. So, thought I'd give you an update. Uh, let's turn this around. All right, yeah, it is really me. So I'm gonna give you an update. All right, hi guys, bye guys. Whoa, get my finger in the way. So let's give you an update on the garden. There's no update on the firewood. And we have had three days in a row at or above 100. It's 103 yesterday, it's 100 now. And when it gets hot, the blueberries start turning to raisins. So the blueberries that aren't picked yet usually burn. So that's this is bad. Probably gonna lose some blueberries now. Yeah. The ones that are in the direct sunlight, anyway, as you can see. Some are gonna make it, but some are just turning into raisins. Oh, these these underneath here are looking good. Last year when it was 117, <laughs> we lost everything from that point forward. All right, I picked a few Walla Walla onions. I picked uh, this row here. There's still quite a few to pick. This last row here I actually planted from seed, so they're not ready yet, but these I planted from starts. There's the green onions right there, the carrots, radishes. <laughs> Why did I call these radishes? They're strawberries, I picked the radishes. There were some radishes here. They're gone. You can see the strawberries here and there and everywhere. Yep. You pick them every day. Look at the corn starting to tassel. See that? And I'm gonna guess, oh, I'm looking, we're even getting little baby corns. Probably have corn in about three weeks. So the second planting is right here, 12 days later. So this is just a flower I need to hang up, but it's kind of hot. Don't feel like it. <laughs> Zucchini. Uh, look at that. And my wife already picked five today, and I have two plants. Five zucchini picked today, and there's still two on there. Tomatoes, they're... They're being stubborn. Nothing bigger than about a silver dollar. Probably because of the cold. Jalapeno. I did see a nice pepper, and those are all green peppers. We picked a few different days of green beans, so we've already gotten a bunch of green beans. The raspberries are getting burnt too, it doesn't look good. So, yeah, the blueberries, we've just been picking about a gallon a day. There's no question about the wood being seasoned. When you have natural Pacific Northwest heat like this, low humidity, it was 18% humidity yesterday. So there is no question about the heat seasoning this wood. So, And the bundles are still sitting there. No one's answering my ad. Facebook Marketplace, that's okay. We'll just try again in the fall. Swedish candles, they're ready too. But if you notice it's a little bit hazy out. That is because we have smoke from the California fire 600 miles to the south trickling up here. It's kind of hard to tell if I get out of the sun here and you don't have a sun staring at you in the face. You can kind of see it's not a bright, bright blue. It's It's blue, but it's more of a subdued with a little bit of smoke 
kind of a haze look but that's the update guys that's all i got oh i gotta show you these flowers out front i planted these hold on Still no truck in the shop almost seven weeks it's my dad's truck look at these flowers I planted these so I had these baskets from last year and they're petunias and I only planted like four little tiny petunia plants in there look at how they turned out pretty awesome huh yep when it's hot you sit in the shade for front porch sitting. Yes, sir. Flowers do pretty good in the shade here. Out in the sunlight. You can see the daisies are doing good, but the other ones are doing all right. Everything in the shade is doing good. The stuff that gets hit with the sun is... Well, they're not doing so hot. Steve from Oregon signing out.